Hey guys, Megan here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thanks for stopping by. Before I get into today's video, the fam is wondering what I'm wearing. It is Kalia by Carrie Underwood. No, this is not sponsored. I just love their clothes. Like, I'm wearing their leggings. This cover-up is Kalia, and it's got the thumb holes. This is an older item, and so is the shirt. And it's just a short sleeve shirt. Um, but it's kind of cold. Not cold in my house, but cool. So I wanted, I like sleeves on it during the winter, of course. I do want to mention, because I feel like some people may click off of a video before it gets to the end, because uh, I've been known to do that to a few people. Sorry about it. Um, but I do have a goal to reach 500 subscribers, so if you want to be a lovely individual and subscribe to my channel, I would so very much appreciate it. Anyways, getting into today's, into today's video, I'm doing a everyday makeup routine video. Contact behave. I wear contacts if you didn't know. Um, my <laughs> makeup bag, which is a little dirty, it's Kalia as well. There's a little Kalia emblem. I got this for Christmas one year from a good family friend of mine. So I love it. They actually have new ones and I've thought about getting a new one too, but there's really nothing wrong with this one. So which I could always use that as like my toiletry bag traveling if I get a new one. So, <laughs> I think I just convinced myself that there's a reason that I could get a new one. Because I can use this one for travel. But, uh, we're not going to do that just yet. What we're going to do is we're going to wet this uh, beauty blender. It's actually the Real Techniques sponge. Um, so, I'm going to get this wet and then... We'll start off with all of the products. I will try to list all of the products I use down below in the description. So if you're interested in anything, be sure to check that out. Now, I do love a beauty blender sponge. What I don't love is how much product it absorbs. Lately, I have been just applying my foundation to my fingers and then rubbing it on my face with my fingers and then using the beauty blender to like smooth it out or whatever. I saw a girl, Allison, I believe is her name. Um, sorry, I just cut my head off a little bit. Cut my face off. Um, I saw her do it and I was like, you know, she's got a good point because the beauty blender does suck up a lot of um, product. So this is the foundation I'm using. L'Oreal Infallible. Pro Glow, right? Yeah. It's in the shade 202, which is creamy natural. And I just use a little of it um, and apply it to my face. And then like whatever excess is on the tube. I put that on my face. I could not think of a word for this. Okay. But because I feel like that that is probably not, um, not going to cover my whole face. And this foundation is too dark. So I've been mixing my foundations. This is the latest one I've bought. And I've never used this foundation on its own, but I've heard that it's really good. Um, I was using Maybelline's Urban dream something. I'll try to insert a picture of that. I was using that. I love that. But I've heard a lot of good reviews about this. So I thought I'd try it out. It's the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. And it does have a SPF of 25 in it. And it is in the shade 460. So definitely dark <laughs> compared to my other foundation so I try to just use one small pump of it I'm gonna have to get a lighter shade of foundation to mix with this guy once I run out of the pro glow so then like I said because the beauty blender uses a bunch of product I've been using my fingers to put a foundation on 
in now. I'm just going to go in with the Beauty Blender and tap, tap, tap. Got a hair. Imagine that. I shed like nobody's business, y'all. So I'm just going to try to smooth it out with the Beauty Blender. I try to make sure my neck and my face are not different colors, but I think because this is dark, it's kind of doing that a little. Then I use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, and I, you can tell I am almost out of this stuff. I love this concealer, but I think I will try out a different one the next time. Like I said, I'm starting to run low on this guy. So, I'm going to tap, try to do it with my fingers, get what I can, blend it in with my fingers, and then go in with the Beauty Blender. I will still probably purchase Beauty Blenders, or like, you know, the, the off-brand of them. <laughs> um, because I do like them. I just don't want a bunch of my product being soaked up and me not getting the full usage out of my foundation, you know, because it's not fair. This is bronzer from e.l.f. Um, it's the bronzer and the blush palette. I used it in my Get Ready With Me video. You'll see a lot of these products I did use in that video. I try to bring it on down to my neck and down, you know, on my chest if I got a low shirt on or whatever. And then I go in with the blush. I'm trying to use this bronzer, bronzer, this bronzer and blush up. I've got Alme Smart Shade Bronzer and Blush that I use as well. This one I haven't opened yet. This one I've used a little bit. Um, but I'm trying to use this guy up because it's old and it needs to be used, you know? I like emptying out products. I don't like wasting stuff so some people might that's just not me so i put a little bit of blush on to add some color to my cheeks for my eyeshadow for everyday looks like if i'm just going to walmart to run errands or if i'm um, working because i work outside so having a glammed up eyeshadow look is not what i'm going for i don't know how to do glam makeup but I just apply bronzer from the elf palette I just do that in my crease and then sometimes I, I apply it to my lid too just so I've got a little bit of color there and so I do that to each side and then I go under the eye with it because I feel like I don't know if that really does anything, but I've seen people do it, and I feel like it does help some. And then I use the Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter, and I just put that in the corner, inner corner of my eyes. Oh, that's good. Just because I like a little little highlight there in the inner corner to make me look a little bit more awake. And then I use the Rimmel London Exaggerate Waterproof Eyeliner. It looks like... Where is it? There it is, I think. Yeah. So, lately I have been just doing like this area here and then the top like on my eyelid I line that but I haven't been doing my waterline and I really have been enjoying how it looks but I'm probably gonna have to do this while looking into the mirror more so I'm a huge fan of Carrie Underwood right and <laughs> Clearly, I'm wearing her workout clothes. Um, her makeup artist, Melissa, said, uh, Melissa 
Sliker, I think is how you say her last name. I really hope I'm not butchering that. Um, but she always said in a makeup tips video to always line your tight line, I think is what it's called. The line I just lined. <laughs> how many times can I say lined? You know, that inner part of your eye. And then I do the top. If you've ever tried to do your makeup going down the road, Don't try to do the top line, because it's the absolute worst. Okay, so there's the top line. It's probably not even, I'm kind of further away from my mirror than normal. And then I use the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. And to do the top. And the bottom. If anybody ever wants me to do your mascara, don't. Don't ask because I'm not very good at it. I've watched countless videos on it and every time I feel like I do a terrible job, I end up getting it all over. Which surprisingly, it's not on the center of my nose today. But usually when I apply mascara, it's on the center of my nose. Okay, and then I just go and clean up any spots that need it. Now I am going to use this EOS egg. Um, it's brand new. Clearly I'm fixing to open it because I cannot stand it when my lips are dry. I'm going to apply this to my lips. Ooh, that smells good. That smells really good. Okay, so that's usually my everyday look. But if I decide, hey, let's throw on a gloss, I will usually use some color of Almay's lip gloss. This is a light pink color. It's actually called Blooming. Yeah, just Blooming. I'll put that on. And that is it. That is my everyday makeup routine. Super simple. I don't like to pack on a bunch of makeup. Some people might think that this is a lot. I don't because I've seen other people like bake and all of that and I just, I've never done that. Will I do that someday? Maybe. I don't know. Um, but for now, this works for me. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, thumbs up, uh, comment down below any video requests you have for the future. Um, follow me on Instagram at TheRealMegan and don't forget to subscribe. Because again, I have that goal of reaching 500 subscribers. So if you want to help a girl out, you should do that. Okay. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Um, yeah, that's it. Peace out.